He's out already? That was fast. By taking down Sheriff Hunter. All the cases that got made by that lying son of a bitch are now liable to be reopened. Oh, all right. That explains everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little conversation. Conversation. I was a whole about paying for your little cake, huh? <laughs> Trying to run off. Why we get in prison? It's better than you might think, but simply cannot compare to a nice, warm, sticky piece of homemade. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> one thing that separates the pie we get inside from a nice piece like this one here is the smell. I mean, there ain't nothing in the world like it. Are we still talking about pie here? I have to lick your plate. <laughs> and who's gonna bug me anyway when I got? The number one gunfighter in the whole U.S. Marshal Service watching my back. Watching every part of you. Including her pie. Yeah, I figure it shouldn't last more than a couple hours and then we could have our sit down. And today, okay? Good Looking forward me. to it. You still all right to use my office? Don't see why not. I'll give you home field. Good seeing you again, deputy. Chief. No handshake for the chief? Are you planning on using a FLIOA lawyer? Just an interview? Totally up to you. And you don't have to decide now. Take your time, think about it. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Why did he even bring that up? You want a lawyer? Until 20 seconds ago, I didn't think I needed one. <laughs> I'm so sorry to have startled you. I assumed Mr. Hawkins had told you to expect me. My name is Wynn Duffy. Wynn Duffy? I'm security consultant. I can't upgrade your security situation unless I first assess your security situation. What are you doing Just here? Just because we're talking about safeguarding your physical security doesn't mean all our solutions will be fixed. Explain why you're in the house when nobody's home, dude. I could call the police right now if you don't get out of my house. Personal security can be an emotionally charged issue. I hope you let Mr. Hawkins know I was here. Tell him I didn't forget. Clearly, Win Duffy is everything but a security advisor. <laughs> I gotta take a dump. Well, the floor is all yours. Just let it drop. The fact that all these people saw him go for his piece, do your talking for you. <laughs> Drop the weapon! Here comes yet another shooting. <laughs> Perfect timing. If you get a clear shot, put him down. Still a chance to walk back from the cliff here, hmm. Wallace. You'll just let these men go. <laughs> Even better timing. <laughs> Don't worry about Vasquez. Don't pay any attention to that little son of a bitch. Do what I said. How about you escort Vasquez out of here? Huh? We have an emergency here. What now? Do you need a list of my demands? You're gonna offer me a, a chopper, a plane, suitcase full of money? You want a chopper or a plane? How about a pizza, hmm? You look hungry. I'm so happy that's not me with a shiv against my neck. How'd you get that in there anyway? Keistered it. Keistered it. Uh-huh. Now I'm really happy not to be the one with it. <laughs> you seem pretty stable. Although you did spend all morning with the shiv up your ass. You tell me what you want, and I'll see if I can get it. You done? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the hell does he want, actually? There's no way out, obviously. Who is she? He's got her inked on his chest. She's got to be someone special. Simone. Probably his dog. <laughs> Either that or his daughter. She's my daughter. Hmm. Would you like to see her? Can you do that? We could try. You could bring her here to me? Well, Marshall, that'd be a miracle. Is he bullshitting him? a miracle considering she don't exist. <laughs> but I will say this, I find it hard to believe you can get any good chicken at a joint with crab in its name. That why you're doing this? <laughs> screw with guys who screw with you. 
Maybe I plan on cutting the throat of the man that screwed with me. Oh. I think you wanted to do that. You, you could have done already. that already. Yeah. <laughs> Put me in a cage and then they go about tapping oh. on the oh. window like they're screwing with a monkey at oh. the zoo. Well, how do you like screwing oh. with your monkey now, oh. huh? How do you like it? Raylan! <laughs> Why is Vasquez still here? <laughs> Clearly the interview isn't happening anytime soon, so... Couldn't you do something else? Fried chicken? Oh yeah, well, all that talk about it, you know, got my mouth watering. If you want some, I mean, you can come out of there, I'll share some with you. You know a box of chicken's not gonna resolve this. I don't know. But I, I would have loved to seen the look on your boss's face when you told him you was ordering that lunch. <laughs> your friend was here. What happened? You don't want to know which friend? Well, sorry, who was it? <laughs> he already Duffy. knows. Who's that? What a scumbag. Well, he's sitting right here when I got home. What, inside the house? Mm -hmm, right here at this very counter. Uh, that's not true. He was standing at the door. The door to the backyard. He's probably a junkie looking to make a quick score, you know? Breaks in here because he sees nobody's home. <sighs> what a weasel. The new one breaking into someone's home to give them to buy an alarm system. How long are you planning to keep going with this? <laughs> is that what this is about? You think I don't care what happens to you? No, I know you do. And I know the reason you aren't worried about what that man might have done to me is, you know, he wasn't here for that. How do you know something that isn't true? Because I read your emails and I found some names. <laughs> was one of the names on that list. Do you know how many emails I get each day? How many I send? Uh, could we stop this now and get to the point? I asked him to run those names. Okay, that's enough. That's can you just talk to me about what's going on here so that we can deal you with know, it together? I hope before our next interrogation that you'll at least read me my rights. Oh, please. Sorry I couldn't be more help, officer. Or should uh, I say Marshall? What an asshole. Someone kill him, please. 24 pieces of spices you got. We're closed. All right, I'm a deputy U.S. There's Marshall. something ready. Or you need to get me some chicken. I shut down What's the broiler. That? That's the last order for delivery. I'll take it. Like hell you will. <laughs> I'm officially requisitioning this chicken. This doesn't pay for it. Send an invoice to the courthouse. <laughs> My daddy used to grift people out of their welfare checks. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> oh, tag team's here. Looks like it's time for the fun part to begin. Couldn't these guys have knocked first? I need full tactical command. That's just the way it is. Of course, you got a problem with that? Give me the word. I'll get out of your hair. And you fellas can settle this thing any way you see fit. Yeah, why don't we do that, hmm? Seems a bit weird that marshals would need SWAT. You know damn well I'm gonna have these boys' throats cut before they cave my head in. You try to do that, I'll kill you myself. Oh, you gonna shoot me through a closed door on a quick draw? The door is not closed. Here we go. Check this out, Wallace. What do we got? 24 pieces extra spicy. 24 pieces extra spicy. It looks <laughs> like some greens and some cornbread. We get some bourbon. You didn't say shit about bourbon. It's an arts office. <laughs> Probably got tranquilizers ground up in it. Well, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Looky here. That don't cool it down, heat it up at the same time. <laughs> That's iced tea, dude. <laughs> down on the floor! Stay down. What happened to the chef? He gave him a nightstick. You must be glad to finally find a professional use for your office. I don't know what you're talking about. I was as surprised to find that in here as anybody else. <laughs> What'd you tell that asshole? I said, uh, I hope the lawsuit against his department didn't go federal. What lawsuit? Damn if I know. <laughs> Let's take a rain check. Just as soon get to it. Get it over with. No, no, it's fine. And we're in good spirits. So, best opportunity. Deputy Gibbons, how would you characterize your relationship with David Crowder?
<laughs> you little weasel. Second one in this episode. Boyd Crowder pleads to a minor gun charge, gets sentenced to time served, and he walks. And we pray that he doesn't decide to sue. What the fuck, that's it? I thought this was supposed to be an interview. Just stay the hell away from Boyd Crowder. Stay away from her too. Great, now he's out too. Is it? My mission now is to cast off the shackles of my incarceration, to go forth in the land and spread his good word. <laughs> the way I see it, I'm the one who allowed you to be unleashed upon mm -hmm. the world. I mean, we settled this very early on, that Waylon is God. Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Why is that lawyer carrying a briefcase? <laughs> I must leave you now, Raylan, be restored to the bosom of my family. <laughs> Daddy, daddy, I'm free. 